Hi guys, in this uh, quick tutorial I'm just going to show you how to transfer information between forms. Uh, this is a problem I experienced when I first started and I know a lot of people have been asking me about it. Um, it's actually really simple. Um, let's say that we want to push this button and we're going to open up this form and we're going to type information in this form and when we click send we want this text box to be populated with that information. Okay? Alright, here's how we do it. First off, we want to open up the new form. So we do text form, give it a name. So now when we click it, it should open up the other form. There we go. Okay. Alright. Now when we press this button, If you think about it, all right, I've already created a uh, public string text in this, that, which is going to hold the text. And um, a lot of people, like when they do this, they try and go uh, form one dot text or text, and they try and access it, and they get frustrated. Same thing with just form dot text, and they can't figure out how to access that variable. And then the, if they try and like use a method to send it back, it's the same thing. Like they can't access it. So this is how you do it. When you actually um, do this text form TF equals new text form, uh, what you want to do is you want to pass it this. And it's basically meaning it's passing form one. So it's passing itself to the new form. So when it does that, that means we can access all these variables. And it's giving me an error because I have to edit this. Uh, where are you? And let's make uh, original form. What I basically did is I passed the uh, <coughs> form one and I created a global form variable and I set it to the form that is co incoming. So now we can use this original form in our button click method. So when we click this button, we want um, original form. Now we can access this uh, text. Oops, one thing. There we go. All right. Forgot to do form one because form one is basically like the form. So now we can access this text variable equals text box one dot text. And then I'll just go ahead and close. Close this form. So now, uh, now basically, the bah, this text uh, will now be whatever we typed into here. And if we want to populate the text box, that's just a way to transfer it. But if say we want to put the text in there, then we can create a little method that, uh, where, lose myself. So we can do original form.populate, just a method I created, use Visual Studio's nice little generate method stub. Now we come back over here, we see I have a populate, and we can just do textbox text equals text. All right, now this should work perfectly. Retrieve. Sample text. Send. This is sample text. There we go. We just transferred information between two forms. And that is the end of this tutorial. If you'd like to see any more tutorials, make sure to uh, post a comment on my video. I'll try and read it. It's kind of hard. And um, make sure to subscribe to my videos. And also visit the websites in my description and also head over to this website where you can get a lot of information and code samples and, and a bunch of programming languages including C sharp so head over there you know do whatever also make sure to head to my forums and that is it this is Quackware signing out